This video presents AutoMan, a research collaboration among computer scientists at the Universities of Michigan and Wisconsin, as well as economists at the University of Michigan. It is a prototype tool that enables economists to apply social media data to economic prediction tasks. Social media services such as Twitter emit many millions of messages each day. Although people use these services for primarily social reasons, the resulting data can also be used to describe real-world phenomena. For example, if more people tweet, I need a job, then we may conclude that the real-world unemployment level is going up. Unfortunately, it is not always clear what phrases in social media messages are indicative of the phenomenon we want to track. For example, changes in frequency for the phrase, I need a job, turns out to be an effective predictor for unemployment insurance claims, while I got laid off is not. Even if we know the right phrases to use, simply collecting and preparing the data requires substantial engineering resources. Our research system, still in its early stages, aims to address these problems. Its goal is to give economists the ability to automatically obtain relevant social media signals on any topic of interest. The tool starts by showing a general purpose search box. Let's imagine an economist wants to use the system to get information about unemployment. The user provides a search topic and its corresponding historical data time series. AutoMan will analyze a corpus of social media messages and try to select the phrases that best indicate the topic. In the system presented here, we use approximately 7.6 billion tweets from June 2011 to July of 2012. After a moment, AutoMan will present its suggested signal data. The left-hand column shows the distinct strings that are relevant to our topic. Each one is associated with a time-varying signal. This signal tracks the frequency of social media messages that contain the relevant tweet. If the user clicks on a string, its signal will appear in the center window. The user can now see the frequency for lost my job over time. By clicking on a point in the graph, the user can see the actual messages that went into the relevant frequency count. The user can do the same for the other suggested strings. Finally, the user can decide which of these suggested strings to retain. AutoMan tracks the selected strings at the bottom of the screen. By adding and removing the strings, the user can build a library of social media signals to build a predictor. Once the user is happy with the current selection, she clicks on Next to go to the final screen. In the final screen, the user can see the final data set of social media signals. The main screen display shows the historical data compared against data from a statistical model derived from social media data. She can also download a spreadsheet of all the signal data for use in external software packages. Of course, the AutoMan prototype will only be useful if it gives us improved information about real-world events. We used its data to build a predictor for the number of initial unemployment insurance benefits claims in the United States. This number is released weekly by the U.S. government. We attempted to build a predictor for the unemployment benefits claims number that uses just the social media data available one week before the government's data release. We obtained 16 different signals from AutoMan, including find a job, looking for work, and so on. We excluded signals that are linguistically similar to phrases about job loss, but are in truth unrelated such as benefits and fired up. By summing together related signals, we created three composite signals, one that indicates job search, one that indicates overall unemployment, and one that indicates job loss. 
We then created a single Automan predictive signal that incorporates these three inputs, along with a factor that allows us to adjust for seasonal effects in employment data. In this graph, you can see time on the x-axis and the unemployment benefits claims value on the y-axis. The black line shows the ground truth, the weekly data released by the U.S. government. The blue line is the Automan predictive signal. The Automan signal closely tracks the ground truth, obtaining an R-squared value of 0.38. This graph shows the same signals averaged over a four-week window. We see similar results. It is nice that Automan's predictive signal closely tracks the true signal, but perhaps social media is simply capturing the same information available to economists through other channels. Does the Automan signal carry any new information beyond what was previously available? To examine this question, we retrieved a year of predictions released by Briefing.com. This weekly prediction number is created by a panel of economists. We call this the consensus signal. We then measure the difference between this consensus signal and the true answer. We call the resulting signal surprise. If Automan's signal is simply reproducing what economists already know, then surprise should be impossible for us to predict using the social media data. But if social media data carries additional information not previously known to the briefing.com economists, then it should be possible for us to predict surprise. This slide again shows time on the x-axis. The y-axis shows the surprise values. The black line is surprise, indicating the extent to which Briefing.com economists overshot or undershot the correct answer. The red line is the surprise predictor we built out of the same social media signals as before. Visually, the red line seems like a good, if not perfect, match to the black line. We found an R-squared value of 0.34. Put another way, the Automan-derived signal can predict roughly one-third of the surprise generated by the conventional economist's prediction. We have described Automan, a prototype tool for performing economic prediction tasks using social media data. Our preliminary results suggest that Automan's social media signal tracks the true level of initial unemployment insurance benefits claims. Further, Automan's information can account for roughly one-third of the error made by a panel of economists when predicting this claims number. We thank these people and organizations for their generous help in making this research possible.